a woman stands in front of a green field with trees and mountains in the background. Text, Lisa Bell Castro, adapted physical education teacher, volunteer, and advocate. Hey there, my name is Lisa Bell Castro and I'm so excited to share with you some inexpensive ways to make sports more accessible to athletes with disabilities. For over a decade, I have been working in the disability sport community as an adapted physical education teacher, volunteer, and advocate. Like many who run disability sport programs, funding is often limited. Even on a shoestring budget, we must find creative ways to accommodate the needs of every athlete in our program. No one deserves to be left on the sidelines and we're here to make sure that never happens. A title montage depicts modification of equipment. Text, DIY Adapted Sports Equipment with Lisa Bell Castro. A project by the U.S. Department of State Global Sports Mentoring Program. A graphic of a U.S. flag. Emblems of Department of State United States of America and Sports Diplomacy U.S. Department of State, and the logo for the University of Tennessee Knoxville Center for Sports, Peace and Society. Today, we will be talking about bowling and bocce ball. In these sports, the athlete would typically be on their feet and use their arm to roll the ball towards the intended target. What if you were working with an athlete that used a wheelchair? What if one of your athletes didn't have the range of motion needed to roll the ball? What if the movement patterns of these sports were too complex for your athlete? How would these athletes participate? With some out of the box thinking and creativity, we're gonna look at inexpensive ways to answer all these questions. Today, we will be building a ramp that can be utilized for both bowling and bocce ball. The idea for building a ramp came after recognizing that I would need one for a number of my athletes. When I saw how expensive a bowling ramp was, I knew that purchasing one was out of the question. The ramp that we're gonna to build today is very inexpensive, easy to make, very durable, and most importantly, it will ensure all of your athletes can participate. She stands in front of a barn. Text, the build. She stands inside against a wood paneled wall with tools on a pegboard on the wall. She holds a PVC pipe. Over the years, I found that I really enjoy working with PVC. PVC is incredibly durable, easy to work with, and best of all, it's really inexpensive. To build the ramp, here are the materials that you'll need. PVC, 45 degree fittings, T fittings, elbow fittings, and end caps. Materials are displayed on a table. You will also need a couple of tools. A saw, permanent marker, measuring tape, PVC primer, and PVC cement. When I built my first piece of equipment, I'd never even picked up a saw. You might be a master builder, or maybe you've never picked up a tool in your life. Regardless of your comfort level or experience, I want to assure you, there's nothing to be intimidated by. Building with PVC is as easy as one, two, three. Step one, cut the PVC into the lengths you need. Step two, connect the PVC using the proper fittings. And finally, step three, cement the pieces into place. Text, step one, cut. Segments of PVC pipe of different lengths are laid out on a table and she holds one piece. PVC pipe is typically sold in 10 foot lengths and can be found at any hardware store. You will need two 10 foot lengths of one inch PVC pipe for this project. Grab your saw. Let's start by cutting our PVC pipe into the lengths we need. Let's start off by measuring 30 inches of PVC. She stretches out a measuring tape. We're gonna mark it with our marker. Text. A full build guide is available in the description. Using our saw, you're going to cut straight down from where you made your mark. And we're going to put a letter A at the end. You'll need two of these 30 inch pieces. You'll also need two 8 inch pieces marked with the letter B. Then you'll need two 6 inch pieces marked with the letter C. We'll set those aside. That's going to be for our base. Now we're going to talk about the ramp incline. For the ramp incline, you're going to need two four inch pieces marked with the letter D, two 26 inch pieces marked with the letter E, two two inch pieces marked with the letter F, and finally, two 18 inch pieces marked with the letter G. If you're making this for bocce, you're gonna need two three inch pieces marked with the letter H. Step two, connect. The words move and come into and out of focus. To get things started, you're gonna grab the pieces that you marked with the letter A. Grab two end caps and secure them to the bottom of the pieces you marked with the letter A. On the opposite side of letter A, you're going to secure two elbow fittings. Next, you're going to grab the pieces that you marked with the letter B. Connect them to the inside opening of the elbow fittings. 
Next, you're going to need two T fittings. You're going to secure them to the opposite ends of the pieces marked with the letter B, like so. And now you're only going to need one piece that you marked with the letter C. You're going to save the other one for later. She puts the small piece between the two ends and fits them together. Connect everything together just like that. Next, you're going to grab the four inch pieces that you marked with the letter D. And you're going to stick them into the openings, the remaining opening of the T fitting. She secures those into place. They stick up at right angles to the fasten pipe. Then we're going to grab something called a 45 degree angle fitting. Looks like this. Put them on the opposite end of the piece marked with the letter D. She secures those on top of the vertical pieces. They face away from her at a 45 degree angle. Now you're going to grab the pieces that you marked with the letter E. You're going to secure them into the 45 degree angle fitting. Next, you're going to grab two um, T fittings. You're going to secure them to the bottom of the pieces you marked with the letter E. She secures those to the ends, up in the air. One of the holes on each face is down. Then you're going to grab the two inch pieces that you marked with the letter F. Secure them to the downward opening of the T fitting. Two elbow fittings on the opposite ends, and you're going to have the opposite opening facing each other. Now we're going to go back to that letter C that we put to the side in the beginning. You're going to fit it into the openings of the elbow fitting. Secure those together. It's going to make the downward part of the ramp secure. The two sides are now joined with the crossbar. Next, you're going to grab the pieces that you marked with the letter G. You're going to secure them into the final opening of the T fitting. They stick straight outward and upward. And you're going to finish off by putting end caps at the bottom. Up in the air. You're going to orient the ramp just like this, and it's going to be much more secure once we cement it. Step 3. Cement. The words move and come into and out of focus. Now that I've completed my piece of equipment and I'm happy with how it looks, I need to cement it into place. This will ensure it stays strong and working for years to come. In this step, we're essentially going to take the piece of equipment apart and put it back together again, but there's a reason for that. I find it helpful to build the piece of equipment and make sure I'm happy with the measurements and structure prior to cementing the pieces together. Let's say I cemented the pieces together as I was building it. What if I get to the end and realize one of the measurements was off? The problem is the cement is so strong, it's almost permanent. If I realize I made a mistake after they were cemented together, I may have just wasted a lot of time and resources. We're gonna cement every joint except the pieces marked with the letter C, and that's gonna be here and here. One high up, one to the side on the crossbar. Here's why. You can interchange the two pieces marked with the letter C with these smaller pieces, right here and here. She holds the smaller pieces next to the C parts. That will convert the ramp from a bowling ramp to a bocce ramp. Now we're gonna cement our ramp together. This can get rather messy, so I've put down a piece of cardboard. We're gonna start off with this joint right here. She pulls off a long lower section of pipe below where the crossbar is. First step is to prime it. Text, make sure you complete this step in a well-ventilated area. She paints around the end of the pipe. You're gonna prime the piece of PVC and also the inside of the joint. She paints around the inside of the joint. And then we'll move on to our cement. She paints the cement around the end of the pipe, then around the inside of the joint, then fastens them together. We're going to hold this into place so that it gives time for the cement to dry. Now we're going to cement the rest of our joints, making sure we do not cement any pieces marked with the letter C. Text, demo. The words move and come into and out of focus. Now we're gonna talk about our bowling ramp. Two ramps on the wooden deck outside. On the ramp on the right, made from PVC pipe, a bowling ball perches on the top. She motions to the one on the left, which is metal. This one over here costs over $100 to buy at the store. This one over here costs just $15 to make. The benefit of the DIY ramp is that it can also be converted into a bocce ramp. A man in a wheelchair has the ramp over his lap with the ball on top. The benefit of the bowling ramp is that it eliminates the need for the athlete to do complex movements. 
The bowling ramp works by the athlete using their hands to push the ball down the ramp and into the pins. The man pushes the ball and it rolls down and knocks over bowling pins. They high five and he holds up a thumbs up. We've now converted our bowling ramp into a bocce ramp. We did this by removing the pieces marked with the letter C and replacing them with the three inch pieces marked with the letter H. Let's try it out. He pushes a small ball down the ramp. It rolls past other balls. He gives a thumbs up. I told you that was gonna be easy. In just a few simple steps, we've created a piece of equipment that increases independence and accessibility. With all the benefits this ramp brings, it can be built for just $15. Be sure to tag us on social media with your builds. Links to our social media accounts are available in the description. I'd like to thank the U.S. Department of State, especially the Sports Diplomacy Division, and the University of Tennessee Center for Sport, Peace, and Society. Logos. We hope this project design serves you and your athletes well. Thanks for watching. Text, complete build guide available in the description. Faint background image with a filter, people in wheelchairs link arms and hold them up in celebratory fists and smile. Text. DIY Adapted Sports Equipment